Atoms and Molecules Introduction Dear students, an atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together by covalent chemical bonds. All matter is composed of basic elements that cannot be broken down to substances with different chemical or physical properties. Elements are substances consisting of one type of atom. For example, carbon atoms make up diamond and also graphite. Pure 24 karat gold is composed of only one type of atom, gold atoms. Molecules are compounds in which the elements are in definite fixed ratios. For example, oxygen, nitrogen, water, ammonia, carbon dioxide. Laws of Chemical Combination Dear students, chemical laws are those laws of nature relevant to chemistry. Chemistry deals with the matter and the changes occurring in it. Chemists are particularly interested in these changes. Whether one or more substances are changed into quite different substances. They have found that these chemical changes are governed by some empirical laws known as laws of chemical combinations. These laws are law of conservation of mass, law of constant composition or law of definite proportions, law of conservation of mass. According to this law, matter cannot be created nor destroyed in chemical and common physical changes. For example, zinc reacts with sulfur molecules to form molecules of ZNS, zinc sulfide. Law of Constant Proportion Dear students, in chemistry, the law of definite proportions, sometimes called Proust's law. The law of constant proportions, also known as the law of definite proportions. This law was stated by Proustus. In a chemical substance, the elements are always present in definite proportions by mass. In formation of water compound, the ratio of the mass of hydrogen to the mass of oxygen is always 1 is to 8, whatever the source of water. Thus, if 9 gram of water is decomposed, 1 gram of hydrogen and 8 gram of oxygen are always obtained. Dalton's Atomic Theory Dear students, John Dalton, FRS, was an English chemist, meteorologist and physicist. He is better known for his pioneering work in the development of modern atomic theory and his research into color blindness. Dalton's Atomic Theory Dalton's atomic theory provided an explanation for the law of conservation of mass and the law of definite proportions. The postulates of this theory are 
all matter is made of very tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are indivisible particles which cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction. Atoms of a given element are identical in mass and chemical properties. Atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties. Atoms combine in the ratio of small whole numbers to form compounds. The relative number and kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound. What is an atom? Dear students, an atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. Our entire world is made up of atoms. We may not be able to see them, but they are there and constantly affecting whatever we do. Atoms are very small. They are smaller than anything that we can imagine or compare with. More than millions of atoms when stacked would make a layer barely as thick as this sheet of paper. Through modern techniques, we can now produce magnified images of surfaces of elements showing atoms. Example, Silicon surface showing atoms. Ions Dear students, an ion is an atom or molecule in which the total number of electrons is not equal to the total number of protons, giving the atom a net positive or negative electrical charge. An ion is a charged particle that can be negatively or positively charged. A negatively charged ion is called an anion and the positively charged ion a cation. For example, sodium chloride NaCl. Its constituent particles are positively charged sodium ions. Na positive and negatively charged chloride ions Cl negative. A group of atoms carrying a charge is known as a polyatomic ion. Example nitrate ion. Writing the chemical formula. Dear students, a chemical formula is a way of expressing information about the proportions of atoms that constitute a particular chemical compound. The chemical formula of a compound is a symbolic representation of its composition. For this, we need to learn the symbols and combining capacity of the elements. The combining power or capacity of an element is known as its valency. Valency can be used to find out how the atoms of an element will combine with the atoms of another element to form a chemical compound. Rules for writing the chemical formula Dear students, a chemical formula is a way of expressing information about the proportions of atoms that constitute a particular chemical compound. The rules that you have to follow while writing a chemical formula are as follows. The valencies or charges on the ion must balance. When a compound consists of a metal and a non-metal, the name or symbol of the metal is written first. For example, calcium oxide. CaO, sodium chloride, NaCl, iron sulfate, FeS, copper oxide, CuO, etc. Where oxygen, chlorine, sulfur are non-metals 
and are written on the right whereas calcium sodium iron and copper are metals and are written on the left in compounds formed with polyatomic ions the ion is enclosed in a bracket before writing the number to indicate the ratio formulae of simple compounds the simplest compounds which are made up of two different elements are called binary compounds while writing the chemical formulae for compounds we write the constituent elements and their valencies example 1 hydrogen chloride HCl hydrogen sulfide H2S carbon tetrachloride CCl4 aluminum oxide Al2O3 Mole Concept 1 and 2 Dear students mole is a unit of measurement used in chemistry to express amounts of a chemical substance defined as the amount of any substance that contains as many elementary entities For example atoms molecules and ions The molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule of the substance It is therefore the relative mass of a molecule expressed in atomic mass units u. Example: The molecular mass of HNO3 is equal to the atomic mass of H plus the atomic mass of N plus three into the atomic mass of zero is equal to one plus fourteen plus forty-eight. is equal to 63 u the formula unit mass of a substance is a sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a formula unit of a compound example formula unit mass of nacl its formula unit mass can be calculated as is equal to 1 into 23 plus 1 into 35.5 is equal to 58.5 u the number of particles atoms molecules or ions present in one mole of any substance is fixed with a value of 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 This is an experimentally obtained value. This number is called the Avogadro constant or Avogadro number, represented by n zero, named in honor of the Italian scientist Amedeo Avogadro. One mole of anything is equal to six point zero two two into ten raised to the power twenty three. calculation of number of atoms or molecules dear students an atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons a molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together by covalent chemical bonds Let us understand it with the help of an example. How many atoms and S8 molecules are present 
in 50 gram of sulfur. The relative atomic mass of sulfur is 32. Solution 32 gram of sulfur contains 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of sulfur. 50 gram of sulfur contains 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23 into 50 upon 32 atoms is equal to 9.411 into 10 raised to the power 23. 8 atoms of sulfur are present in one molecule of sulfur. 9.411 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of sulfur are present in 9.411 into 10 raised to the power 23 upon 8 molecules is equal to 1.176 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules of sulfur. Calculation of actual mass of a single atom or molecule Dear students, an atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together by covalent chemical bonds. Calculation of actual mass of a single atom or molecule. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Calculate the mass of one atom of nitrogen. Solution Molecule mass of nitrogen is equal to 14 U. Molecular mass of nitrogen 14.007 gram molecule raised to the power minus 1. Number of nitrogen atoms in one mole is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23. Mass of one atom of nitrogen is equal to 14.007 gram mole raised to the power minus 1 upon 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecule raised to the power minus 1 is equal to 2.33 into 10 raised to the power minus 23 grams. Calculation of number of moles in a given mass Dear students, an atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together by covalent chemical bonds. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Convert into moles 12 grams of oxygen gas. Solution Given mass of oxygen gas is equal to 12 gram. Molar mass of oxygen gas is equal to 2 into 16 gram mole raised to the power minus 1 is equal to 32 gram mole raised to the power minus 1. Number of moles of oxygen gas is equal to mass of oxygen gas upon molar mass of oxygen gas is equal to 12 gram upon 32 gram mole raised to the power minus 1 is equal to 12 upon 32 mole is equal to 0.375 mole. Hence, 12 gram of oxygen gas is equal to 0.375 mole of oxygen gas.